The teenager facing homicide charges who killed two people is getting loud support from, shockingly, Fox News. Today, the lawyers and judge meeting to discuss proposed lesser charges, which would lower the bar for conviction. The judge ultimately allowing the jury to consider that Rittenhouse provoked the attack, opening the door for the prosecution to argue that Rittenhouse was the aggressor. A win for the prosecution, the ruling will raise the bar for Rittenhouse's claim that he was acting in self-defense, a claim that many on the right are clinging to despite Rittenhouse's crocodile, deal, crocodile tear performance. Take a look at Fox's coverage of the case just this week. They are vilifying an 18-year-old man. That would seem to me a classic case of self-defense. This kid shouldn't have been indicted. I... It's clear self-defense. No comment after that. She knows it's self-defense. It's clearly self-defense. He did the right thing. He did what the government should have done, which was to make sure these dirtbags, these violent, disgusting dirtbags, weren't roaming the streets. He was a good kid. He went there to clean up the, the uh, uh, graffiti on the buildings. Yeah, that's, that's a the good kid. That is a kind of kid who can grow up and have a moral core. It is child abuse masquerading as justice in this country. This entire trial, this entire entire farce is an indictment on every institution in our society. Wow, I doubt any of these people thought it was child abuse when Trayvon Martin or Makia Bryant were killed by vigilantes. Suggesting the government should have killed those protesters is the kind of thing that we hear all the time from Fox News. This is a young man who took an illegally obtained AR-15 across state lines and shot three people, killing two of them. Fox interviewing his family members and defense witnesses as part of their trial coverage. It's just par for the course. I thought he was gonna die. This guy just put, uh, pointed his gun at his head. President Biden don't know my son whatsoever. And he's not a white supremacist, he's not a racist. He defamed him. Why do you think so many media luminaries are defending this guy, Rosenbaum? I think because it fits some kind of narrative that they are trying to paint from the very beginning. I don't know if Rittenhouse is a white supremacist, but when you take pictures with Proud Boys doing a neo-Nazi symbol, maybe that's something that people will think. Closing arguments for this trial are set for Monday. The whole nation will be watching.